Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Today, we are heading back into the action, being able to spend our first set of bottle caps here in the store. We have over 120 of them, and as you can see, the Fire Pea Shooter is available to purchase in the Club Daily Deal. So if you don't know how this works, I'm going to explain it again. It looks like there are certain plants, like the Fire Pea Shooter, that are exclusive to the Club Daily Deals, as far as I've seen. I haven't seen them pop up anywhere else. So the question is, how do you earn up bottle caps? Well, you have two options. You can either start or join a club, which you can see, which is this little speech bubble button. As you can see, this is the uh, Zebra Herd Club. Anybody can join it, feel free to. I don't exactly know how you join a club because I've uh, never really done it. I've only made this one. So it's the Zebra Herd Club made by me, Zebra Gamer. So all you have to do is join this. And when you do, there is a donation section. In here, this is very useful. You can go ahead and donate other people um, who are requesting things. So like you can just go ahead and boom, donate this person three seeds to their pea shooter, donate this person three seeds to their uh, buttercup. And when you do that, you earn bottle caps. So basically, you give something to somebody, you get something in return. Not only that, but you can request dona donations to your own plants. As you can see on the top, I have a seven hour timer because I'll sometimes log on to uh, donate and request donations. As you can see right here though, the Zebra Gamer, I, don I, I ask for donations for my um, blockbuster, and that'll give other people in the club opportunities to earn up their bottle cap. So it's sort of like everybody helps each other out. It's wonderful. It's one of my favorite things about this game so far. So because of all that, I've now earned up 130 bottle caps. I can use that to buy our daily deal here, the Fire Pea Shooter. Very excited for this. Um, so yeah, we're going to check him out. He's gonna be our showcase plant for today, uh, right here. So the Fire Pea Shooter, let's see some info on this guy. He is level three, a rare shooter. Oh, he's so cool looking. I mean, very hot, not cool. I would intend that he's not made of fire. Uh, fires flaming peas down her lane. While which damage other zombies in the same tile as her target? Roasted, very nice. So very cool stuff there. Not quite ready for a level up, but they do have their plant food upgrade. Let's go ahead and, and do this then. Might be fun. We'll give uh, three extra shots fired. Very nice. So. I don't know exactly how we want to hop into some things. I don't think, I did try to record an episode where I did stage 14 and I got destroyed. So I'm not quite ready for this. I'll keep working on it though. Um, in the meantime, there's still plenty of other things to do. We have ourselves a pinata to get over this way, which will have a walnut, buttercup, potato mine, spike weed experience for us. Pretty cool to see that. And we'll just go to some of the different towns and try to clear things out. Of course, ballpark Frank is still here. Not really going to worry about him too much but uh, we will actually earn up the daily rewards today at the least, so that'll be fun. So yeah, my main focus is going to be using the Fire Pea Shooter. Um, I don't know how much sun he costs, so we'll, we'll figure that out as well. He's five sun, so that's really not too much more difficult than say um, the Flax Seed in that way. So yeah, we'll just sort of, I'll keep it simple with something like that for right now. Because um, if, if we can see, where were his stats? He is good against swarm zombies and for obstacle zombies. That's at least good. So, um, you know, let's get into it. We'll just take on this basic uh, area. This should be fine. All right. At the house. See, so we start with 12 sun. That should be enough to really get going. Nightclub trick, dance off. So wherever the first zombie shows up is where I'll put our first fire pea shooter right here. So as you can see, he's looking pretty fiery, pretty intense. He'll light some zombies up. Has a bit of a slow cooldown, but nothing too bad, actually. Well, seeing how we're on one time speed. Actually, yeah, that's pretty quick. So right now, it doesn't seem like any of them are really getting set on fire, but I think that with how it was described, I'm pretty sure that it will, if there's like zombies that are like stacked up, maybe they'll catch on fire together. I'm not entirely sure. Right now, though, this is fine. We'll get some buttercups out to help protect us. The dancing zombies seem to have a lot of health. We've experienced this in previous episodes, so still sort of dealing with that. There we go. So these guys are working on it. Oh man, there's a lot of dancing zombies coming in. Uh, I think they can handle it, but I'm going to put this here. Uh-oh, butter, maybe? Will that work? That will work, nice. Oh gosh, is he gonna get through that fire piece or he will, yikes. So I'm thinking about putting down a cherry bomb here soon because this is getting a little crowded. Uh, you know what, sure, why not? Just put that there. So these guys aren't outputting as much damage as I typically prefer. Yeah, I'll do that for right now because this, this wave's about to end anyways, so. Nightclub trick dance off again. Okay, so yeah, now they start dancing around. We can handle it. 
So I'm a little surprised. I was hoping that their damage output would be a bit stronger than that, but it's not It's not bad. It's just not as good as I was hoping in some ways. There we go. Uh, we'll put down another fire pea shooter, because I have the, uh, the sun to do so. And we'll taco boost these guys, of course, and then of course we'll be trying the plant food effect here um, whenever we can. Oh no. Uh, they did not show up in some useful areas. Maybe I could just use some plant food effect on, will that stop these guys? Yes, it will. Okay, I'm just doing that for now. Um, and that immediately took him out. And there's more of them, so I need to keep saving up. Get that there. Come on, come on. I don't know if I'll be able to save up in time. I sure hope so. Yep, I will, I will. That should be enough. So let's try a plant food effect on the fire pea shooter against the fog zombie. As you can see, it lights up the whole lane, almost like a jalapeno. That's pretty cool. So let's get some more butter out, and of course, Keep working on doing more synergy. Fire pea shooter there. Ooh, taco boosted. That's nice. We'll finally have a top lane fire pea shooter taco boosted. Some more stuff is coming in. Get that there. Get this here. So we just need one more flax seed to get really the best setup for everything. There's a lot of zombies on this lane. See how to tear them down. So yeah, so far, not too bad. I mean, the thing is, it, it seems to be doing decent damage, but is it enough, you know? Is this truly better than having like a Snapdragon Flaxseed combo? It's hard to tell right now, but I'm really glad to be able to get this. It is very interesting that this, the only way I've seen this plant show up so far in the game has been through, um, has been through this club daily deal. So definitely worth it to join a club and to participate in it for sure. And got it, nice. So there we go, everybody's dancing. Stage two clear, we get ourselves three stars. Not good. That is the worst in terms of stars I think we've ever done. Very surprising. Um, and that's where I'm like, hmm, maybe we could find a better strategy here. Maybe we should do a lane of normal pea shooters and fire pea shooters. I'm, I'm definitely still figuring that out. They don't seem as strong as they need to be. Uh, and that is definitely concerning. I do want to check the description of them again, though. Uh, they're right here. Fires flaming peas down her lane, which damage other zombies in the same tile, so the same tile, not the same lane or the same column, but the same tile. That can definitely be useful if we use something like Walnut. So let's go ahead and figure that out real quickly. Um, I don't think we need Snapdragon, of course, so we're gonna put that over like that, because that's gonna get them all bunched up. Also, uh, let's put with the Blockbuster. 600 coins, getting him to level seven. He's one of our highest level plants, actually. It might be the highest level plant we have, yeah. Very cool. Um, but yeah, let's see how that works. Going in against these zombies now, because our team power actually is lower than theirs right now at 445. And I think that's just because I need more experience for my fire pea shooter. Hopefully that's something we can get more and more of as we go into this. But yeah, getting three stars in that previous level, that's the worst I've ever done. I usually at least get four. But hey. That's all right, it's not the end of the world. We'll keep working on it and see what better scores we can get. But as we're getting into this, let me know your thoughts on the fire pea shooter. Have you been able to unlock him yourself in PvZ3? Do you think he's good, bad, or she is good, bad, somewhere in between? would love to hear about it. See, so yeah, I'll start getting walnuts, walnuts up as soon as I can. But at the same time, it's sort of like a balance I need to find here. I'm trying to make the most of the cooldowns, make the most of everything else. There we go. That should be good. Because I can also th put the buttercups out, you know? Try to make the most of everything. So I definitely need something on this top lane. Another buttercup might be good. Yeah, trying to make the most of my sun can be a bit of a challenge at times, but I think we can do it. Because as more and more of those zombies start getting stacked up on the walnut, I think that's what's gonna be best. Maybe once stage two starts, I'm going to consider maybe moving the walnuts all the way to the right, really far out there, and see how that works. Like, maybe that will be better. Because if that's the biggest perk of the walnut, is being able to force them to stay on one tile, we should really only give the zombies, you know, like one tile worth of space. I will probably want to promote them a bit with the tacos. There we go. That might mean that I might use less buttercups here. I think that's fine. Let's just get set up again. Okay, so these guys shouldn't be too big of a deal. And of course, all the zombies show up on the one lane where we don't have any. Ooh, the double butter though. So as you can see right here, this is not affecting 
all three of these zombies. Are they technically not on this? Oh, there we go. You can see it for the two dancer zombies now. It's hurting both of them with one shot. That's a big deal. So I'm really glad to see that. And in the meantime, we can set up spike weeds. Um, and that'll just do some extra damage going out there. And I just have to be careful because of course I don't want the, uh, would this work? No, it won't. That's unfortunate. Um, I, I don't want them destroying the walnuts any more than they have to. So setting up spike weeds and stuff will certainly be helpful. And then maybe more fire pea shooters along the way would be good. So what is the plant food for this? I don't know. <laughs> that just sort of did something. Maybe it just refills its health. I don't know if I've ever really tried it. So yeah, we'll do a bit of that. We'll do a bit of this. Maybe I should have waited until the final wave really began, but I didn't. So oh well. Okay, some more dancing zombies are boogieing on down. I never actually used the cherry bomb, so might as well. And is that gonna be it? I think so. Or maybe not. Nope, that's it. <laughs> All right, you win, stay too clear. Please let it be more than three stars. That's what I'm talking about. Back of the four, 51 coins. I think that we get it a little bit more. Forcing that specific strategy of being able to damage zombies on more than one tile. I think that, or on the one singular tile. I think the best thing to focus here, what am I doing? Um, is going to be not doing the fire pea shooter first, but maybe use a fire pea shooter as a follow-up plant. So let's start with the flax seed and build by stage two a decent reservoir of fire pea shooters. Like maybe that's just better. And that'll definitely work because flax seed is a higher level plant anyway, so it'll probably be more effective in the long run. Okay, so get that there, get this here. Get a spike weed there as well. Just trying to work on that guy however we can. Obviously there might be points in time like this where I might want to set both of them up just so that we can slow those guys down. And actually the fire pea shooter might be good for those doubled up disco zombies there. Oh my gosh, I have so little health though. Wow, wait, that was ridiculous. Okay, so let's not mess this up too bad now. I'll put a potato mine here for this guy. That's definitely something I need to incorporate a lot more is potato mines. Whoa boy, we're already in trouble. I'm just gonna do that because I just don't think I was going to be able to handle that. Buttercup, no wait. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, fire pea shooter, do your thing. I really need you to. There we go. That was that was all kinds of dangerous. Stage complete, put a flax seed there. I need to reorganize this whole thing. Okay, so let's get back to it. As you can see, more zombies are moving in. Uh, I will buttercup this group just because you know there's more than one zombie there. I would like to just sort of deal with them however I can. Let's get the last flax seed figured out as well. I feel like I'm just not getting as much sun this round or that the, mo the zombies are moving in faster. Probably a little bit of both. Hmm. So let's speed things up again. Get another buttercup right there. Get that fire pea shooter set up. Yeah, very difficult to deal with all this at the moment, but we're getting there. Got the full walnut. Almost with the full fire pea shooter. So like maybe it would be better if I just did fire pea shooter first. Like that seemed to work out better before, but that was a lower power as well. Let's do plant food on the flax seed and just get rid of that big group. That seemed to work. Uh, get a spike weed. We just need one more buttercup until we're done with that. That would also be good. Oh boy. So here it comes. Let's do this and do that. Now we're done quite nicely. I don't know if we ever got symmetry for those buttercups, but we do get four stars. Not bad. Uh, four experience for the pea shooter and five for the spike weed is actually a pretty nice reward as well. Happy to see it for sure. But there we go, that is an entire like neighborhood area cleared out. With the fire pea shooter, definitely let me know your thoughts on that plant. Um, I definitely could use some feedback on it. But we'll get a reward of 400 coins. That's great. Still gotta work on all this other stuff, so let's get to it. Um, the best way to do it will just be doing some arena. I don't think I, like, with how high, because we're still number one. We are still number one here. Uh, I don't think I want to do a uh, fire pea shooter right now just because I need to make the most of this, especially since this ends in a couple of hours and the person in second place is right behind me. I will double check what my strategy was uh, last time and we will just go for it again and just sort of see how it goes. So we're going back into it with the same strategy we always do. I'm sorry I'm not doing anything with Fire Pea Shooter here, but this seems to just be the premier strategy that has been working for me better than anything else. So I wanna keep with it and hope for the best. Let's go ahead and do that. And should I do Buttercup? I don't think I quite need to just yet. Yeah, we'll sort of see how things go, but I wouldn't mind just setting something up like that. Maybe slowing things down a tad. 
Get a pea shooter there as well. Uh, oh, the pigeons are coming in, which is a problem, but at the same time, we should be able to make this work. Just like that, perfect. One more pea shooter is all we need, and then cherry bomb about there. That gets rid of a good chunk of pigeons, and it gets rid of most, yeah, most of the, uh, the pigeon zombies. Okay, uh, this obviously gets a bit overwhelming. I might put a second uh, pea shooter right there. Get the butter here, and then Snapdragon time. Here we go, clear him out. That definitely helps. Okay, we got this, we got this. Looking good, that actually wasn't too bad. We're not in the lead with points, but I don't think that matters as much. We'll get another pea shooter out, get two Snapdragons boosted, and then maybe these two pea shooters. I can't wait until we have enough coins to get our bonus tacos. Like, that's gonna be so useful. All right, so, yeah, these guys shouldn't be that big of a deal. I can get that set up. Put some of these spike weeds out. Almost have our second row of uh, pea shooters. Yeah, work on that as well. So, lots of stuff going on at the moment. These pigeons don't stand a chance anymore. There we go. And I'll try to complete the row of Snapdragons, but I feel like it's more important to do it with Spikeweed because it's, it's just more easy to do, first off. There we go. And I'll try to clear stuff out with the plant food. Maybe not all the way right now. Okay, just one more by the end of this round. That might work out, it might not. Yeah, it just ended. Oh well. So as you can see, match over, and we did not win, yikes. So they had a quicker win than we did. Interesting strategy, I really wonder, they have a lot of, see like that's where I don't really understand. What did they do with all those super expensive plants? Hmm. Well, we get one star no matter what, but we do go down in trophies. Oh, that has me nervous. Am I in second place now? Did I just ruin it for myself? I don't know, maybe. No, I'm still in first, but by two trophies. So I'm going to go in with the strategy again, but it has to work this time. This person has even more expensive plants. Uh. I didn't think I did bad, is the thing. Usually once you lose, though, it gives you some easier opponents, though. So we'll see what ends up happening this time. That's not where I placed, that keeps happening. Where I clearly placed it on the, the slot above that, and it got put back in the middle. And I don't understand why. Because that's been happening so consistently. Oh no, I should have put this on the other lane. Uh, get that there. And there we go, already have a full lane of pea shooters. I'm going to cherry bomb that whole group. Maybe my cherry bomb is something I need to fix because the quicker I take those guys out, the better. Um, hmm. Keep at it. I know it's not the best for this one pea shooter. Let's just use plant food then. There we go. <laughs> it's something. There we go, stage one complete. Let's keep moving. We're actually not too far behind them in terms of points this time, which is nice before we were uh, farther behind. So let's try that out. Gonna get that there. One last bee shooter is all we need. Got it. And now we need to work on the buttercups and the spike weeds. I haven't really done much of either of those, so this is a bit of a challenge. Got it. Got it, okay. Getting close with both of them now. All right, almost there. There we go, double symmetry. I wonder if it would just be faster to work on another set of spike weeds. I mean, maybe this won't work out, but I feel like I should try it. Is that the last one? That is the last one, that happens so fast. And they won again, you're kidding, look at how close the score is though. That's weird, because they didn't have any symmetry points. Why is the strategy that was working so well before not working now? I don't know how I could change it to make it even better though. Like, I feel like just switching back to flaxseed might be my best bet. Oh, now I'm nervous because now I'm in second place. That is not cool. I was in first. I was making it happen. I didn't change the strategy. I forgot. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. That really is a shame, isn't it? Um, I'm going to try third time's a charm, right? After this though, I'm definitely going to uh, switch it up and maybe just go back to like a flaxseed kind of thing. But maybe getting, you know, another Snapdragon out in a moment would be good. Like this. All right, um. 
I'd like to get this with multiple of them. Just like that. That's pretty good. Get the butter here. And that. And maybe not worry about it too much more than that. The shooters can handle it, it's just not that easy. Okay, so final wave is coming in. Got it. There's already al almost three rows of pea shooters. We're in the lead in points this time. Full ease, let it stay that way. Snapdragon, Snapdragon, pea shooter, pea shooter. We'll do it up top this time. Okay. And the buttercup. Like maybe two Snapdragons is enough. Maybe going with three is just overdoing it. We can save that sun for more symmetry. <laughs> it might be the case. I'm just trying to find ways to maximize our situation here. Uh, because it, like I, I want to use more plant food, but sometimes it feels like the plant food just expedites it. Like obviously that makes it for a quicker win, but I feel like maybe the symmetry is more important in that situation. I don't know, it's hard to say. Okay, so the final wave is coming in. Oh my gosh, I couldn't do it again! Wow. We won, all right. Barely, but we did win. And they had a, another like more basic strategy like we did. Um, but we're back in number one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I do wanna switch to Flaxseed. Let's see if we can't take out more of the pigeons that way. The pigeons don't give you points though, is the thing. That's what's so tough about it. Um, but we're number one. I really hope it stays that way, but instead, you know what, we'll keep, because we're not using the lemon anyways. So instead of the lemonade, we'll do that and hope for the best. Go back into it, give it another fight. And also, I should be able to activate more rewards now, which would be nice. Uh, so we'll do that soon. <laughs> but right now, I gotta go all in with this. So start with the flax seeds and the snapdragons then. Have a ball with that. Maybe buttercup that because I sort of did this in a bad order. There we go. That should be good enough to handle most of this, but we'll keep at it. Once we get this there, I'm not quite gonna do the cherry bomb yet. I don't know if that'd be the best idea because I know more of these guys are about to show up. Ah, uh, here they come. Ready and that didn't explode them. Okay, so I was just too early with that, which is sort of baloney, but I'll, I'll accept it for now. And this is where it just gets overwhelming, um, and I don't know if I made the right choice. But I will try what I can. Hopefully we can get some plant food at the ready soon. That would be good. But I only need one more row until we have, or one more flax until we have a full row. Got it. And butter there. So final wave is coming in. Once they get a bit closer, we will, uh, work on it, but okay, I was gonna say maybe we could use some plant food or something. So we're not in the lead with points. Uh, that's a problem. Taco boost these two, and these guys. Get another butter cup out, and let's get going with that. So there's some symmetry right there. Work on some pea shooters here and there as well. Looking good. Awesome, so things are going pretty well if you ask me. We'll do flaxseed plant food. That always gets rid of a good chunk of them. And you know, we'll just do it again because a bunch more zombies are moving in. Oh, a taco boosted. Got it. Maybe it really just is I'm supposed to be using more plant food. But it always has, like that's sort of the weird thing about battles in this game. I can't believe we didn't win again. Oh my gosh. So I'm just, I'm not doing very well. I'm trying my best, but it's just not working out. Um, maybe I just need higher level plants because some of the people we're going against are definitely higher level than us Just like they've gotten higher on the devour tower, which I'm struggling with so much. I'm not very good at the game I'm still working on it, but What was I saying? Um, <laughs> I totally forget Oh well, um for right now let's claim our rewards and see what we get here Um, we get the silver pinata which I'll have one experience for the bong choy walnut potato mine spike weed kernel pulp pine needler 103 coins very good. So we're still what one two three four five 
We're working on the fifth one when there's 10 more after that. I don't know if it's worth getting premium yet. I'm going to save it for right now um, until later, until I know for sure. But in the meantime, we can get our star farmer reward, get our overachiever reward, and our two arena battles. So that was still, you know, overall worth it with the 16 for the Brainiac locator, which we'll not worry about too much for right now. I'm going to worry about that more once we uh, have a new Brainiac to tackle. So yeah, we're still have a little bit of time left in today's episode. I don't know, yeah, I don't have any more bottle caps for right now. I could spend coins on experience. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, this one's pretty cheap. I feel like it's always worth it to get the cheaper ones. Uh, so we'll keep with that. This is some good experience for caps right here. If we had this, if we had the extra bottle caps for it, I would definitely suggest that because that's at least a full level up for the potato mine. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I don't know too much more. Oh, the pine needle actually has a level up. From level five to level six. Gladly take that. Um, so. Yeah, let's clear out the uh, the green screens theater. With this one, starting it off. What is our current power? Our current power is 498. And that's where it just gets very confusing. What could be like my highest possible power? That is something I've been meaning to figure out. Because like if I just start replacing stuff with other things. Like, what will go up and what will go down? That'll make it higher power. But just because it's higher power doesn't mean it's a better strategy is a big thing to keep in mind. Like, that's 485. Obviously, having higher leveled things, like, would you would think, would be better. Like, that's 530. Was that better than this? Yep, yeah, just, just by a little bit. What if I use dogwood over that? Oh, that'd be 543. But just because it's a high level doesn't mean it's 596. It's a good strategy and that's where it gets hard to really know like what the best thing to do actually is but maybe I should just focus on like some high power just sort of see what goes on um if I did something like this of course range zombies they stay back using special abilities I don't think usually that's the one to be the least worried about so we'll try this out something like this and just see if if, if we focus solely on power is that a good idea I just want to level up my Snapdragon more. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's just what I want to do. Okay, buddy. Calm down. Get that there. Like, maybe this is just a strategy we should keep focusing on. It's just getting the highest possible power. I mean, so far we're handling it. Oh, gonna get a Taco Boosted Pine Needler. That's good. Okay, come on. One more, one more. Got it. It'd be cool if they gave us a setup that would like immediately give us the highest, uh, the highest power setup we have. Like if there was like a button to do that, that'd be cool. Anyways, that is already taco boosted, so we'll do something like that. So every lane has at least one taco boosted plant in it now. That's cool. We'll get dogwood right there, uh, and keep working on these guys. And we still have cherry bomb. Oh man, you were getting through that really quickly. Let's do that. <laughs> This gets a little scary, but we are figuring it out, slowly but surely. So another dogwood, and then maybe, well for right now let's, that's symmetry. I mean, hey, it works. The good thing about the blockbuster is it takes a while to restore, but it's very cheap too, so I think it works out overall. Oh no, they got through our dogwood there? That is a total shame, that's mostly, There we go. That's not too bad, right? Wow, they got through the Snapdragon as well. That's wild. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted to do the other one. Wow, this is actually getting really nasty. And this shows you that high power does not fix a good strategy. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm not really doing much against the fog zombies. But geez, this went really bad really quickly. There we go. We're still surviving, which is nice, but not always the easiest. Come on, come on. We can't even see those guys because they're covered in the fog. It's like, what do you really do about that? I don't know. Um, Because even now, like that doesn't even do damage. It's weird. It's very, very weird because I don't know how to defeat these guys right now. Like that's not doing anything. There we go. Now they're, they just sort of decide when they want to be unveiled. Anyways, that's still four stars, so I'll take it. 56 coins, five experience for the squash. 
Maybe the squash would actually be good for that. I don't really know how it works. Um, but I'm sure there's something here we can replace with the squash and we'll see if our power goes up or down. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Our squash is level six. You would think if I put it over the dogwood, yeah, it goes up to 610. Do we have anything that's also higher than level five? No. So these are all my level six plants or above. Well, only, only one of them's level seven. But that's why I just I just need to focus all on all in on Snapdragon at all times whenever I can request seed packets, you know. I feel like I should improve his taco ability. I think I think that's gonna be a good idea. I've already done it for the Snapdragon. I can improve his plant food. I've been spending a lot of coins though. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll find out. Anyways, let's get back into it. I'll get that there. Okay, that seems like it was a good move. Now I'm trying to deal with this imp. We'll be jumping around a bunch. I think we'll be able to handle him. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem. Oh boy. Okay. The good thing about the pine needler is that of course it goes through multiple targets. I feel like I'm not using the pine needler as much as I should, so hopefully we can change that starting now. So there's a nightclub dance off starting to happen here. As soon as we get a zombie or a plant in every lane, that should deal with most of the zombies that dance around the lanes. So I wanna do one more Snapdragon. Blockbuster in the perfect position to deal with that donut. Always good to see that. So stage one complete, taco boost. Some of these guys, that's the best I can do. Oh, we got the phone zombie down this way. Let's go ahead and just use the squash on you. Whoa, come on! She like expertly dodged it and she destroyed my Snapdragon. That was sort of my fault, but come on. That was baloney. All right, so gotta be very careful of that because that can just happen and it's not fun or fair. Oh, I should have squashed the, the, the fog zombie, but we were, were able to end up dealing with her. Nightclub trick dance off. Maybe I should just go like more all in with the Snapdragon. So, like try to get more than one lane of them or something. I don't know if that'd be a good idea. There we go. Got rid of him before we lost our Snapdragon. I can work on it for right now. This is the final wave though, so I really don't know how far we're gonna get with it. There we go. Oh, I was almost able to. Oh well, four stars is still good. 47 coins. So obviously this isn't bad, but is this better? I don't know. But that's why it seems like it's more important in this game than ever to level up your plants. And not always something you can control, you can only get the seed packets the game gives you. Uh, but yeah, with this, I think we're good to fight. I mean, our power was 626, I think there was like 500 something. So maybe with this we could try going to the Devour Tower next episode, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know though. Hmm. So far we're, we're making it work. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Maybe do the blockbuster to help out a little bit. I like how the, the vine shows up at one place, but it actually affects the zombie in the one spot they're actually in. It just looks a little weird. Okay, so I seen something on this bottom lane and then we have some kind of attack for every lane, so that's good. I'll get one more pine needler. And then let's do the second Snapdragon. Huge wave coming in, I'm just gonna use it. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? You gotta jump back over at some point, right? Oh, there he goes, he's squashed. Cherry bomb on, no, nope. this group now, thank you. <laughs> that got pretty dangerous there for a moment. And as you'd expect, we'll taco boost that. Maybe I'll taco boost this guy. Like maybe that'd be better. Maybe it'd be worse. He is a higher level, so you would expect something, but who knows. Maybe I'll get a bucket head for that. Ooh, we're getting more taco boosted uh, guys. Uh, blockbusters. So every single one of our blockbusters out right now are, are, are taco boosted. That's not gonna be the case once I put out this next one, but it was still cool for a moment. So there's more symmetry. Maybe I could just keep with that for the rest of this, is just do this, and just like keep at it, really. Okay, let's see how this works out. See, it doesn't. It doesn't even damage them. Like, isn't that crazy? Squash them. Thank you. The squash is like the big defense to that. Like, that's what you need there. There we 
we go. That seems to be working overall quite well. We'll do more um, squash for the fog zombies. Okay, come on, I need one more. One more and then we're good. Okay, actually there's more coming in than I was expecting. Uh, I'll put that there, and that worked actually. Okay, no you don't. No you don't. This is getting very dangerous, we lost the Snapdragon. It's all about getting rid of the fog zombies. Oh, not bad, but not enough. Not unless we get this squash out here. Or not, I don't know. Ooh, squasher, there we go. She's tough to deal with, for sure. You win stage two clear, we get three stars, wow. All right, well, five exchange for the potato mine and the bonk choy, so that's at least something. So it's not been easy clearing all this out, but it has been a lot of fun. Of course, we also got to check the fire pea shooter. I'm likely going to be in the number one spot for the end of the arena. I need one more star, the two more stars actually. Can I get that anywhere? Besides participating in the arena again, which I don't want to risk anymore. I've done what I can. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So yeah, not really looking like it. So I think we'll leave it like that. Like I said before, let me know your thoughts on the pea shooter, the fire pea shooter. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.